everywhere. There's a laptop right there, a smart board right behind me, and a phone that you're probably dying to be on right now. So don't pick up your phone yet because I've only finished like the first time. Anyway. So we have a virtual, we have virtual calendars, we have virtual, we have virtual lives. We have um, you can stay in touch with all your friends through your social media. And uh, Oh well. But anyways, we can stream movies on multiple devices. I know that when we went to DC, Emily, you had <laughs> you streamed the Lego movie the entire time. How many times did you watch that? Four times? Five. Four times. <laughs> Five times. Okay. So you were on that you were on your technology the entire way to DC, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Not the whole time. Okay. Well, technology is everywhere. We we um we have Remind 101 where our teachers text us about our homework the, the day of. Um, we have WISC that we do at home. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really <laughs> fun to say that. <laughs> um, but you see, technology is all around us. And the thing is, we everything has a price, and we don't really know what the one technology might bring. And so with technology, we need less time to complete our tasks. We can share files in a second, and we can bring up thousands of sources in less than that. Okay, so you know what? Who, who looks bored with technology right now? I think we're all here, Makeda. Okay, open your computer. Go to Google.
someone's house and you go over there if you want to talk to them. You walk over to their house or you ride your bike. But with the era of cell phones and uh, the telephone, you it's more calling and talking to each other on the phone. You know, it's trying to fill your social requirements for the day. I know my mom tells me to be more social. And sometimes I get it because you ask me, what is that? But anyways, but you know, the kind of thing that you can feel like you're being social just by calling somebody or texting someone, but it's not the same thing. So it's kind of like an illusion. But it used to be that people would go to each other's houses, but now, uh, and then it progressed to calling, but now it's kind of more of, you know, even, you know, talking on the phone, which is still talking, it's been replaced with texting and social media, tweets, Instagram, and DMs, and all this stuff has replaced face-to-face -face communication gradually. Like, what happened to um, kids playing outside all day? But what happened to kids playing outside all day? And I mean all day. My mom, well, most of my dad tells stories about, like, you know, riding around the entire city. And, like, you know, he used to go up to the gas station. He'd ride his bike up to the gas station. God knows, like, five miles or something like that? He would run up to the gas station and meet his friends there, and they'd all, you know, scrounge up for pennies, try and buy, you know, a piece of candy or something, and they'd ride back. My mom was outside all day, and uh, my dad, he has plenty of stories. He says he, he lived up in uh, Michigan, and there's snow there. They like to play tennis in the snow. <laughs> that didn't work out so well. Uh, they played football. You did everything with your friends. You got into trouble with your friends, but now... It's kind of a little, it's a little different now that we have phones and now that we're always connected. Things are a lot different now. But they tell stories of being outside, playing kick the can with the neighbor, and having to be physically dragged off the street to actually come inside and go to bed for dinner. But that was only a couple decades ago. But now we're, we're inside behind the screen. So there's no denying that technology has made wonderful advancements in our lives. But we have access to amazing information at our fingertips in 0.51 seconds. What was it? Nine, 960,900,000 sources, was it, for puppies? Um, <laughs> we're always interconnected with social media at the same time. And then with benefits like these, it's hard to ignore what's happening to the social norm. So our expectations have expanded. Not only that, but while a relationship with technology is becoming more and more close, our relationship with others is becoming more and more distant. So the next time you pick up your phone, the next time you pick up your phone, think about what could you be missing out on. Thank you. <laughs> when somebody asks you about your childhood, prove. <laughs> uh, when somebody asks you about your childhood, prove to yourself that it was more than just pixels on a screen.